All right, so I realized that earnforex.com did a terrible job at explaining this for someone who might be new to MT4 or just not computer savvy. So I'm going to explain how to install it. Over here, if you follow the, uh, the original video, go to earnforex.com, copy everything up to position size. All this here is not important. That's just going to make you jump to this part of the page, which you can easily scroll down to. So you're going to go to here, download the MT4 or the MT5 version. And when you download it, Alright, so when you download it, alright, when you download it, it's going to be here. Um, this right here is the MT5 version, I believe. Yep, you see the little 5? That's the MQL5 file they're talking about what we're going to be doing it right here this is the Meditrader 4 version so what you're going to do is you're going to click on the file hit extract choose where you want to extract it to. I didn't want to just extract it to this downloads folder. I got so much stuff downloaded in here from trading to automotive to motorcycle stuff. It's just, it's going to get too lost in there. So I um, created another folder called position size of MT4. And here I would hit OK and I would extract this folder to here, which I already did, so I'm not going to do that. And when I go to this folder here, here it goes. Now, they're going to want you to copy this. I'm, uh, I'm going to install it on my KLT. I'm going to go to file. Well, let's see what they tell you and then we'll walk you through it. So they're going to tell you to install the expert advisor and make sure to copy the entire folder from the archive, which is what you downloaded here, to the MQL4 experts or the MQL5 experts folder. The 4 is going to be for MT4, the 5 is going to be for MT5. This is what comes in the folder. This last file is only going to be found in the MT5 folder. And the position size of MQ4 or MQ5 is the one that you're going to need to compile. You're going to need to compile position size of MQ4 or the MQ5, not any of the other files. So you don't compile the rest, only this or that. So let's show you what that looks like. Okay, go to KOT. You're going to go to File, Open Data Folder. The computer's a little slow right now. Got a shitload of things running. So just give me a little bit of time. There we go. Um, go to MQL4. Go to Experts. And then here you're gonna paste the folder. Okay. Actually, I could have just stayed there. Go there one more time. Experts go to position sizer. This is the MQ4 file. MQL4. Double click on that. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it a different way. Uh, 
force. Well, let's just do it this way. Open data folder. Experts. Double click on that and the compiler should open. The editor. Alright, so here's the Metatrader editor. Once you double click on it, you're going to press compile. And it compiled it. No warnings, everything is finished. Now I can close this. Close that. Now, what you're going to realize is. There is no, okay, here it is. It came up automatically, but sometimes you might have to close KOT and then reopen it. But since I didn't have to this time, click in here. Auto trading is on. Okay, and here it is. You guys already seen the old video of how to use it. Well, I'm going to keep this video short. This is just how to install it. I already did a video explaining the use. Um, this trading section is where you can add break evens. Um, let me see something. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to do that right now. But you can do break-evens, trailing stops. I have to fool around with it. It's my first time really looking into it since I installed it. Maybe I'll do another video on that. But um, a lot of parameters here to customize your trading. What really excited me is the break-even feature. The trailing stop feature is somewhat, but this auto break-even is, is really cool to me. So that's it on how to install it. Remember, if it doesn't show up right away, which I feel like because I installed it on the other MT4, somehow some of the files are already installed on this KOT version. Because um, originally, after I was done, it still didn't show. I had to close MT4, reopen it, and then it restarts it, which makes it pop up. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't show right after compiling, just close it and reopen it. And that's it.